How's it going guys? Welcome back to Undermine. I was not going to immediately dive right back into things. I had it in my mind that maybe after 10 episodes I would give things like a small break just because I've been playing this so much. But I've had a few people kind of hint at, indicate that there's a possibility that getting the salt shaker is the next step that I was missing for like longevity in my runs that I could probably start making it a lot further with the salt shaker so maybe it's more significantly impactful than I thought uh, the bishop's bomb death at 45 degrees bishop was strong and independent he left home at an early age after studying bomb smithing with his mother it's funny to have bishop be a person rather than like the obvious chess reference that it's actually going for there but yeah, I, I just couldn't resist giving it a try, so here I am. I have so much thorium. It'll be exciting when I start actually, like, finding blueprints again. Oh, so instantly I have a stake to come to to test to see what kind of a uh, difference the salt shaker actually makes. Hey, get back here. There's going to be a weird sick temptation to be hurt on purpose so that I can come and test that out. But we all know that I don't need to get hit on purpose. It's the sort of thing that just is inevit inevitably going to happen. I don't need to tempt fate. So I, I, I won't push it. I'll just wait till I naturally take some damage. Unless this is going to be like the first run ever where I just ace things. More mistakes popping out of uh, popping out of things here now too. I got all kinds of options to test this out. If or when it comes down to it. Now I got a Seltz. Seltz blood. I guess when you get like the super rare. T is this guy just like stuck? There he goes. <laughs> I think after they get stuck for a certain amount of time. They must just hop off the screen. The Because it's like a yellow rarity or whatever. It gets that big shaft of light highlighting it. I don't even think I used it in the last run. I was like trying to save it for some like big special moment and I ended up just never using it at all. I have so many options of food lying around. I'm gonna take a quick bit of damage just so I can see. 30! I thought maybe it would only add uh, 5. Adding 10 is pretty significant actually, which means that the fish, which used to be 30, 30 is either going to go up to 40 or it'll go like 45 or something because I don't know if it's like a 50% increase or if it's just always going to be 10. That's that's as much as I'm willing to push the intentionally taking damage thing. So we'll see we'll see beyond that. I'm sure if this run lasts long enough to make it to the dungeons, I'll have an excuse to eat a fish kebab at some point. But that's like not insignificant. That's pretty rad. A stick. An iron branch. Increase health, swing damage, and attack speed. Holy shit. A strange branch with strange properties. For instance, planting one in the ground will grow a small tree instantaneously. This is something I've never found. And holy shit. It's like the best item in the game so far. And an altar. Throw damage, health, or swing speed. I'm gonna go faster swing speed. Shops cost more. Still just minor inflation, which makes me assume that there's gonna be like major inflation at some point. Uh, that's two two increases to swing speed, I believe, because I'm pretty sure the iron branch swing damage and attack speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's but attack speed is very broad. Does that mean throwing as well? I can't really notice the difference in throw speed. But that, the, the swing speed, is double upgraded, I believe. So it's pretty substantially improved. A couple of lurkers up top opened up a, a secret area for me. Healing is more effective. So between the salt and this, I should be able to just shove as much food in my face as possible. And uh, be able to completely like negate the uh, majority of the damage that I'm receiving. Stakes, I think at this point would be doubled from what they used to be healing wise. So there's a lot of healing potential there. I'm very excited about that prospect. 
increase attack, damage, and speed when killing enemies, so it's not a permanent upgrade, but I should see it uh, improving as, as I'm tearing my way through enemies, so yet another way in which I'll be able to, like, enhance my damage and speed between the Iron Brand, like, I, I have so many items that are, like, synthesizing so strongly. It's, it's so rare to get so many items that layer on top of each other the way that I have been so far in this run. I'm pretty damn excited about the amount of, like, damage I'll, I'll be able to output and everything like that. It's pretty fun to start messing around with. Is this another Thorium chest? That's out of control how much of that I am starting to have. Oh, I gotta run in there and collect it before the spikes break it up. You can see it kind of was flashing white a little bit as if uh, damage was being dealt to it. So I think, I think I was safe there. I got in there quickly enough before anything was totally damaged. Uh, curse removal. It's strange. This particular item must have been on sale originally. And now, and then it was being inflated, but it was still cheaper than it normally would be. Key doubler. Sometimes drop a new key when using an old key. Yes, sir. This little doozy will copy any key you need. Dibble the merchant. I can't afford it. I don't think I would grab it right now anyways. But it's a, a potentially quite useful. Oh, another altar now, too. Healing more effective. I could ramp that up so insanely on this one run here. I think it would be really funny to layer in a faster swing speed again though. I just want to see how out of control I could get that now. But minor frailty reduces maximum health by like a lot. That went down like a hundred from where I was at. Like I had taken some damage that put me down a little bit there. Yikes. That's actually, uh, pretty sketchy. Luckily, I have all, like, my healing options and everything, but I'm kind of not down for that. The frailty is, is a little too risky for me, so I gotta try and shed that as quickly as possible. Although, it's probably permanently affected my, my health, like, if I undo it. I might still have a reduced health from what I would have had pre-curse. Chance on hit to ignite enemies. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't see any reason to not grab it. Sometimes I'm scared about things that have the risk of like excessive fire damage potential that it'll get out of hand and end up just doing more harm to me than than good. But I, I, I think that's like minor enough that I, I should be okay. It's the ones that create, like, infernos all around me, or bombs that shoot fire everywhere. Things like that that I need to really be worried about. That's, that's where it gets, uh, especially dangerous for myself. Oh, this is, like, pretty well perfect. I'm gonna use my crisscross bomb. Wow! That was awesome! I didn't even think about the fact that it was gonna blow up basically every single one of those rocks. I was just more thinking... Nice, I can, I can trade a bomb for a key, which is what I actively am, am, am in need of right now. You guys stay away from all that. Those are big gold pieces that I don't want taken from me. Sick, I got another secret shop to visit. Oh my god, swing speed again. Choose. But I think this has stopped having a huge impact. I think at this point, it's probably... A good idea to start swapping out for damage again. That seems like there's that's everything to do down here. Yeah, I you can only do so much with the swing speed before it's kind of weird. Like it would have to start like removing frames of animation. Like I I, I feel like I'm noticing it less than I would expect. Yeah, you guys just you guys just run yourself straight in those holes. Great work. Your, your credit to to the monsters of this universe. Come on, sell a talisman. Ah, oh, you cheap bastard. Not even cheap. Just 
I, it just bums me out. Black rabbit. Let's hope there's a talisman in one of these and that I get it. I didn't see her actually load up a talisman into any of them. I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a crisscross across here, but it's gonna be only the criss or only the cross, because I can't really do both. Uh, I always forget to look at my gold. <laughs> I like intercepting like that. Ah. Uh, well, there was there was that hundred piece in there. I always forget to look to see if I, I like actually profit or not coming out of that. I think I was closer to sixteen hundred, so that one might have been one of the times where I managed to get away with more money. Wow, that sucked. Landed right on top of the lantern. Managed to burn myself up pretty good. I don't think it's enough damage that I feel like wasting a bomb on this. Well, I'll see. I'll see what. Oh crap! That did so much damage. I was trying to get out of the way and didn't realize how little room I would given myself. I was hoping it would break and drop something, though. Do you know what? I'm going to blow up all these now, too. I'm just going to blow up all sorts of crazy stuff in the hopes that I uncover a little extra health or something. i got to undo this curse sometime soon. That was weird. That was weird that that wasn't picking up and I was wigging out that I was going to be robbed of that healing potential there. Ooh, okay, so that, that, uh, hardiness might be calculated as a percent, but that, it, that would be 20% of the 30 healing potential is what it, it seems to be adding, because uh, adding 6 seems like a really weird number to come up with. Oh, nice, I managed to cook my own steak with my, my ignite thing. I wasn't really intending to do that, I kind of forgot. I just happened to be swinging at the enemies and one one of the axe tosses like flew over top of it and added that in for me. Nice. Alright, if I line this up just right, I should open up the secret room as well as this. Excellent. Basically just get my bomb back. Well, god damn it. That went terribly. <laughs> well, what do you know? More exuberance. Swing speed. Okay, the the change is still noticeable. I can still feel that getting stronger. A meal ticket, free food at the shop. Ah, well, luckily I have so many individual things that improve my food. That's uh that's nice to have. But I really gotta hope that the shop is also selling a talisman. I, I, I can't I can't do this entire run with like reduced health like this. It's gonna become too too risky. Crap, I cooked the steak and then immediately uh, also destroyed it while I was at it. My swing speed was too effective and too too dangerous, too exuberant for its own good really. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where are you gonna go back up to? Uh, it's really impossible for me to tell if that fully undid what I had lost. I'm I'm uncertain if that was the case. Oh, I should have thrown my pickaxe at it once, maybe twice. I think you can get away with like twice without breaking your food. I gotta remember to try and cook up my meals when I find them to extend how far that can that can reach, how effective that'll be. Might not gamble at any other altars until I'm in one of those situations where I know I have a curse removal, like waiting for me. I don't wanna I don't wanna push it too much, you know? Aw, oh, nuts, I don't have a key for this one. I don't see any other way to get to it. I'm gonna plant a bomb to blow up. Ah crap! I always oh nice! I basically always end up standing in the wrong place. I <laughs> I know that the bishop's bomb is going to happen. I'm not forgetting that I have that bomb upgrade. I just, like, m underestimate or misread precisely where or how. Uh, I, I was trying to tiptoe around it to grab the gold first. But between my health upgrade thing and, and all that, that added, like, 53. That was pretty great. I don't think I'm going to do the curse lantern thing in the other room there, the cursed torch. Anyway, I just managed I just managed to barely step in the wrong place with the, those stupid bombs. I'll, I'll miss it by just like a hair and still risk getting hit. I 
those cursed lanterns are guaranteed a curse and maybe a blessing. And so I, I think I'd rather not risk it shit and go into the wrong room. Well, I guess, can I cook this if I haven't bought it? I, I, I can't, which when I think about it, it makes a lot of sense. So uh, that was never going to be an option for me anyways. I am liking with the swing speed, just kind of holding enemies at bay, just repeatedly bashing the living hell out of them, and they just can't quite advance forward at all. Oh, nice. The the room itself dropped a key, and then the, the guy that I peeped dropped a key, so I got a couple keys to go off of. One I can immediately spend here to gain a big old heap of gold. And then the other one I can take down low here and grab myself a nice little treasure while I'm while I'm at it. Deal more swing damage at high health. <laughs> more damage output to go along with it, the enhanced swing speed. I should just be swinging like such a maniac at this point. It's pretty satisfying. Because then I can deal with enemies like that. Just run in there. And normally where it's like, ah, okay, I'll get, I'll get like one shot or two and then I better bail and like focus uh, on other things. Like retreat and, and dodge and try and not get owned by that dude's cauldrons. Instead it's like, hmm, maybe I'll just camp out here for a minute and just, uh, just kill it in one go, you know? I'm feeling it right now if I just, if I just go in there swinging hard and fast. Uh, blindly, eventually I'll probably get the kill I need. I'm getting better at seeing which pilfer is going for which gold piece, and then I can kind of just snipe them and quickly just, like, take them out. Because sometimes it gets to be a bit of a cluster out there, and you don't know precisely where to go or what to do. I am going to wait to see... Yeah, I I'm, I'm gonna wait to see if I find... A talisman on the floor otherwise I, I don't think I want to jump immediately on that I don't feel the need to immediately risk it ah uh, you broke up my skeleton boy before I could get in there and help him I was gonna I was gonna rescue him and I, I lost the opportunity now there's like no chance of finding a talisman the floor is over so it makes me wonder a little bit if I should just grab it and hope that I find an altar on the following floor. I have so much damage output at this point. I don't need to risk some insane debilitating curse like no jumping or whatever. I'm not at a point right now where that is a risk that I feel I need to be taking. But there is immediately a talisman here in the shop. So even if I don't find a freebie... I know I got that to come come grab. Oh, crap. So much, so much throwing of projectiles. I did ignite it, too, so even though I didn't one-shot it, it ignited, and then, like, immediately that was enough fire damage to finish it off, so that was very satisfying. Oh, I love when I just, just in, like, the room prior used up my key. And then you complete a room that drops a key, and then what do you know, immediately after that you break a box that has a key. Now I, now I went from strapped for keys to just fully loaded. I'm just, I got keys hanging off every individual belt loop. I just, I couldn't, couldn't have more really. I'm not, I'm not dealing with four cauldron summoning dudes right now. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking animal. <laughs> I've never had a run uh, that's so damn enjoyable to play. I didn't even see that there was this imp up here. I was busy dealing with other stuff. Just smash the hell out of him with as much damage as I could possibly output. I, I didn't... I was like, ah, I would love to kill this thing right now, but I can't deal the damage fast enough. I gotta back off for a second. But then I ignited it with one of those last hits and finished it off anyways. Just so wildly satisfying. Is this the ricochet one? No, it's throwing really fast. Still. That's still, like, really fun to have. This is... This is, like, my favorite run I've ever done for sure. 
I, I have so much shit going on in my favor right now. <laughs> like, that's just monstrous. Bring, bring me a boss, you know? Just let me at him. But at the same time, I guess I, I, I should probably try to not be too cocky and understand that uh, there are still risks and that if I go for it too aggressively, I could throw away what is for sure, for sure the best run I've ever been on. Uh, I might come to mildly regret not picking up that curse from the last floor. I'll risk taking... Oh, I guess you gotta jump. You gotta be lighter on your feet than what I was just doing. Didn't end up being worth that much. But I gotta jump again immediately, because otherwise you, you step just long enough to take the damage twice. I guess there's not invulnerability for a few frames. It's like, there is specific to one set of spikes, but I don't think it's, like, all spikes. So they individually hurt you as you run across like that. Better healing, faster swing speed. Nah, I'm just gonna keep layering on strength and lose more gold on death. That, yeah, that sucks. I would, yeah, I, it, it's, it, it'll be worth spending the gold to remove it because then like the overall math that'll go into that at the end, I'm hoping will save me the 600, like I'll I'll retain that overall by by purchasing a, a curse removal. Having more than one curse really sucks too, because then like when it comes time to remove a curse, you don't know which one you're going to be getting rid of. Oh, oh, it would have remo removed a blessing as well. I was just thinking like, huh? I wonder if I should have just bought that. It cost half as much. Take out the healer instantaneously. Uh, I, I never really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys. I usually don't go for the melee, but he kind of winds up a little bit, so it's pretty easy to see when he's about to go for an attack. It's not as dangerous as I feel it that I felt it was before. I very much kept my distance and done throw damage only, but the only reason I can feel so confident about that right now is the fact that I can deal damage so quickly. I, I think I would still otherwise probably choose to not get involved. Ah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to get poisoned once in that room if I could avoid it. But I was a little, little sketched out by all of the spikes everywhere. This guy might count as cooked. Steaks might be the only thing I can actually cook normally. That is not a hundred percent confirmed, but it kind of seems to be the case. The high damage, the speed, that thing killed like two rats for me. Just incredible. Ah, uh, the keyblade kind of stinks because I, I have not really had keys. But I can't really complain that much. I already have things like the knight's pendant just piling in damage, like just mad. There's so much damage output. Does it add to only swing? It's only swing damage. Which I guess that makes sense. There would be like an archer's pendant or something otherwise. Just sawing through it all at this point. And I've never been happier. <laughs> oh, I burnt up my gold. Oh, there's more gold in the walls there that I'll have to go back for. Ah, uh, still keyless. Can't, can't worry about that right now. This is, I'm just flying through this level though. It's pretty wild. I guess I go back to the shop and see if, oh, I don't have a key, damn. I, I was gonna say it like, I can go see if the shop is selling curse removals again. I don't know how how much money I commit to that when the run is already going so well to keep spending 600 like every other floor to remove these ridiculous curses I keep layering on to myself. Two. I'm trying to see. Okay, maybe throws are never going to do it. There. I, I'm playing around with trying to figure out how best to approach igniting the meat. I guess I just jumped down to four. That was quick. 
immediate treasure room to come back for as soon as I get my hands on a key. Hopefully I don't have to wait too long to turn up one lonesome key. You guys back off. Back up, I said. Ah, they managed to squeak out a few shots on me. Get it? They squeak because they're bats? It's a thing. It makes sense. <laughs> you probably say it about like a hundred different animals though. It's not really bat specific. You guys back up. That's too many spiders in one room. I'm not dealing with that today. Nuh uh. No thanks. Yeah. I'll snipe you out of midair. I don't even care. I don't want to push it. Still keyless. Really, really benefit from that. It's kind of interesting. I only have like the one direction I could go. It's a weird map layout currently. Yeah. <laughs> Managed to chop them all away. 84 with the crit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll let you do your thing and then I'll squeak in there and do my thing. My thing's better than your thing, by the way. In case you didn't know that, little beetle. You guys quit that. These aren't even the healing ones. They're the, just the ones that buff things and, and shoot at ya. I'll just leave. I'll leave this little mite ignited. That was 94, I think, with that crit just there. That might have been the single best I've done. I don't know if the ignite damage is calculated based on my damage, but I think it might be, because the amount of damage that it's dealing has been insane. Like, each each one of the individual things of the ignite. I could have grabbed the one up top and then grabbed another one down below here. But I say that with the confidence that the curse wouldn't have been something that would have killed me in the time in between, you know? It's something I don't really know for sure. I guess this is kind of a funny thing that it's like with um, the time that Bath Cat and Toad Boy, Toad Vine, were hanging out. I could have fought and killed them to gain access to the next area. I guess you could just take a boatload of curses. Works out uh, the same as it did in that last, the last floor, how there, there was that as a potential way to, to get further. I gotta go around and, like, try and blow a bunch of holes and things to try and find myself some extra, extra keys. And by extra, I mean literally any. There, oh goodness, one. One singular key. I still have a few more bombs, so I could play around with that a little bit more. I'm going treasure room first. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Because I really don't want that one. Maybe I get lucky and uncover another key? Maybe I save my, save my last few bombs. But if that guy's selling a talisman, then I am going to want it. I don't know if I've ever blown one of these up. I don't know if I've ever tried. I think I, I think I would like to try. You can blow them up. That is an option. How did I not realize that there was a secret room here before? I was like, felt like I was extra keeping my eyes peeled for it and still somehow didn't figure it out. Come on, I have a chance to ignite. I should be able to just, oh, it's the one where you take damage instead. I see. I feel ya. Alright, well that's too bad. Take a little bit extra damage, but don't get the key. I really, I really, really do kind of need the shop right now. So I, I guess, I guess I use all my bombs on all the bombable looking rocks that have the potential to dish out items. I don't know about rocks. Exactly. I think that statue type things, oh, there's more gold up there. I think the statue type things have a higher chance of outputting item drops, is what I'm trying to say, but I, I don't know that. I just think it. It seems to have held true. Shit. 
Well, I guess I'm going down with that damage taken then. I did like everything I could to try and try and recover. Yeah. All right, uh, maybe this would be a better, been, been a better room to to drop a bomb and blow some shit up. Going down, second major boss. Mm. I need, I need to be more repaired. Mortar, the charged golem. All right. I don't want to immediately go swing and melee, even though that seems like it would be the wiser thing to do. Can I attack his hand? I can. It didn't actually do damage, though. All right. If I just get in there... Oh, crap, crap. He ran right into me. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, God. He's doing the craziest shit, and he's got water all over the map that deals extra damage to... Can I kill one of these? Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, but all the damage dealt is, uh, is a little too late. The charge had to do with electricity. It's pretty intense. He's got some messed up shit going on. I guess I summon a bunch of eggs in the hopes that that does something for me. Oh god. Oh god. That, that's a good way to get all my, all my little egg buddies messed up really hard. Die, die, die. I feel like these things have a lot of defense or like a lot of health. Man, I wish I wouldn't have taken so much damage so early in this fight. Because now I kind of have a, a better system going on. I got all this damage potential. If I kill all that stuff, ha, ha, then it's, then he can't, he can't drop this shit on me anymore. I don't know if he would continue to summon more of them. I don't know if he has like a limit or what the deal is with that. Oh, fuck, he's going for his arm thing again already. Sweaty hand. Sweaty hand. This is really intense. <laughs> this guy seems like much less of a piss off than Celt. Oh no! I got a little too close there as he was cutting across. Shit. That was gonna be... I took like 150 damage in the first like one second of that. If I would have been a little bit more cautious, maybe a little bit more prepared for what kind of shit he was about to do, that could have been. I could have been the one. Could have got him on the first try. It's gonna be so hard to get up to that amount of damage output again. That was like. That was insane. I'm so close to being able to buy the uh, uh, upgrade pickaxe. Damn it. Oh, better, more blessing options. That would be nice. I, I can just, I'm barely just shy of affording several things here. I could do a bomb upgrade and a better shop upgrade, I guess. Or I could do something like the better throw damage. How many times have I upgraded that? Okay, like no more than the other things. I thought it was like way excessively more or something. Sports a patterned weave for added protection and style. Oh man, still not maxed out. Nothing's been maxed out yet. That's a bummer, but I'm pretty geared up for another run. Remove a curse. Yeah, I'll go down there with an automatic curse removal. That sets Olive Kerr up quite well for for his own run ah oh, that was all right we know what the boss is we know a bit about his what he does and his attacks and everything like that there's there's hope but damn that was a fun run to do ah uh, that gets me all invigorated about the game all over again thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you again soon